Hey y'all, so let's dive into this makeup look. I'm going to let you know what I like doing and what I will change next time I do my makeup. Because every time I'm doing it different. So this is some soap. I tried the soap brows and I love it. I got that soap from Dollar Tree and I just put it in that little container. Now this is some brow pomade that I got from Ulta. I do not like it because it's a little gray on me. So it's going in my for sale pile. And this concealer is an OG. It's so old but look how creamy it still is. I love it. It's by Maybelline. I'm just trying to use it up. And the brush I'm using to spread it out is a paint brush. You know, you can pretty much use any type of concealer underneath your brows, baby. It really does not matter. It can be the same color as your skin tone. It can be two shades lighter, whatever. And then I just like to take this little stippling brush and blend it all out, you know. A lot of these products that I'm going to show you is old. And I'm just trying to get rid of stuff like this MAC Pink Pod. Now, I do love this. I haven't used it in so long. It makes my eyeshadow last forever forever if they still sell it girl go get you some because i need a new one and this is my elf primer i do not like it i do not like the pink one i do not like the green one i do not like green eggs and ham sam i am <laughs> y'all crack myself up but i do not like it because it makes my skin still look oily i can go without it you know just use my patrick star setting spray i'll be good but i'm on the lookout for another primer for oily skin but yeah so here this is nyx orange corrector you know, just the color correct above my lip. And then I'm taking my translucent powder and putting it around my mouth. It's mainly for my smile lines. When I do this, I do not have smile lines. It works. So this will always be a staple in my makeup routine. May look crazy, but hey. I have also been on the hunt for foundation. So this is a sample I got from Sephora. It's by Estee Lauder in the color Nutmeg. I love this foundation. This is the second little sample I have gotten because... I need to make sure this is what I want. And plus it's matte. I love it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and purchase it. Now moving on to eyeshadow. I kept it really simple. I love using my contour palette for my contour as well as eyeshadow. Because it gives me that really natural neutral look that I be going for. I like to take that middle lighter shade and use that as my transition color. And then I go in with that darker shade and just kind of focus that at the end. Two colors right there in that little crease. And boom now I'm taking this pressed powder that I bought you know usually for my highlight but I'm using that in the inner corner of my eye just to get that little pop and then I go back in with that middle color to kind of get them to blend in girl that's it one two three steps for your eyeshadow look like you know what you do so yeah that's my little go-to look that y'all usually see in most of my videos and the star this one size setting spray is the sugar honey iced tea baby let me tell you coming from an oily skin girly you need this if you have oily skin or if you just want your makeup to last all day it's a staple i don't care how much it costs i will always and forever purchase it now this eyeliner here i got this out of a boxy charm subscription and i've had it for a long time and i just started using it it's my fave I will not go without it. I will repurchase that eyeliner. And I'll leave all the products that I'm talking about listed down below. Now I'm putting on these lashes. I think I got these lashes from like Ross or something. They look good, baby. Mm-hmm. And the duo lash glue. You know, I got that from Target. I can't go without it. Now back to this foundation. Let me tell y'all how I found my color. I usually use the LA Pro Concealer in the color Beautiful Bronze for my foundation. But that LA color just get me so oily. But that's because that was the only product that I found that I could use as foundation that didn't make me look like an orange pumpkin. So how I found my shade was I took the concealer into Sephora, swatched it on my hand, and just compared other foundations to it like other matte foundations that I can use that I knew wouldn't get me oily so I will be purchasing that $52 bottle of foundation I just had to make sure that was the one so if you're searching for a foundation just take a product that you know works for you and then swatch it to other foundations to find that perfect color okay moving on to this L'Oreal concealer that is my favorite I will always use this concealer I find myself trying to find different concealers but I'm just going to stick with this one for a while and just do what works because it works out for me and then this Too Faced concealer is more so my skin tone just like a shade lighter I like to add that on the outsides you know because the L'Oreal concealer is pretty light I do when I do a full glam I like um a very highlighted look now I can say that I do need to make sure I take my time and blend my makeup a little bit more. 
For example, here I was on the right track by switching my brush and, you know, trying to blend the edges. However, I should have went back and used my foundation brush to blend the edges. So next time I will do that because I have been watching people different lives do that. I don't know why I went back in with that third concealer, the one that's by e.l.f. I like it, but I'm kind of growing out of it. I was using that before I found the L'Oreal. I never used three different concealers, girl. I guess I was just being extra because I was on camera doing my makeup. I don't know, but yeah. So I'm just taking that same concealer brush and blending out my concealer. Like I said here, how I'm trying to just continue to blend out the edges. And I'm actually just spreading the product. There I should have used my foundation brush to help me blend it out instead of spreading the product. And here's a concealer I've been using as my contour. It's by Essence. I love it. It's bomb. And it doesn't have me looking too dark or gray or anything like that. So here I am now going back in, working harder, not smarter, trying to blend out my concealer. Like I said, and I should have used my foundation brush. And I know one may say, well, Tari could just use a darker shade. That's not it. I don't want to use a darker shade. I love to highlight it highlight look so i just need to work on my blending and like i said once again use the foundation brush and i even went in with this makeup sponge to help me blend it it helped a little bit now i'm going in to set my highlight using this pressed powder that's by essence i love it because it helps with my creases that i usually get underneath my eyes so i like to use a pressed powder first and then i will go in and use a loose powder what i'm using here is by Laura Mercier and it's in the color translucent and I love it so I like to do one eye at a time so I do like to apply my cream highlight first and then go right into setting it with the powders and then I will move on to the other eye so that's what I'm doing here I do my highlight and then I do my contour and then I set them both so I do go ahead and go back in and set like my forehead and my chin. And then I am using this banana powder here underneath that is to sculpt my contour. Now, even with this, I did change the color to like a more yellow color, the banana color, but I do need something that's even more of a skin tone so that it's not I guess so ashy. <laughs> so don't be in my comments coming for me, baby. I know this is a work in progress. I'm working on it. I'm going to change my little um, setting powder underneath. So here I'm going back in with that same contour color to contour my nose. I like using that contour brush. I got that from Timu. I'll leave that link down below as well. So I like to apply the contour to the brush versus directly to my nose using one brush and then I blend it out using another brush. I found that it helps my nose contour not look so harsh. And then I'm going back in with the Patrick Star, this bronzer. I like to put that right in between my highlight and my contour to help diffuse them a little bit more. And then I bake just one more time because baby, I want it to look snatched. I love the snatched look. And another thing that's been working out well for me that I do differently, instead of brushing off my highlight there, I do just kind of stipple it in and it helps, you know, just pat it in versus sweeping it off. Now, let me say, I do understand that it looks a little light. However, I did need my makeup to last all day. And I do know because I tend to get a little oily that my makeup tends to oxidize throughout the day. I was doing my makeup here like nine o'clock in the morning. And then I was still going out of town and I needed my makeup to last all day. So take that into account why it's so light and, you know, very matte at this moment. But throughout the day, it did oxidize and kind of darken. Now my favorite, I'm going in with the Patrick Star setting spray. I get down with it because it lasts. Baby, I'm fanning it, but you really don't need to fan it because it instantly dries. It's bomb. Like I said, go get you some. Okay, now for my signature lip. <laughs> I'm going in with this lip liner. This is from the Beauty Supply Store. It's just like a regular brown lip. It's real creamy. I like it. I'll leave the information down below. So I line it first and then I go in and just shade in the corners of my lip and kind of block them together. And then I use that same eyeliner that I used on my eyes and I just do a slight line around my lips. I used to use a black lip liner, but it smears too much. So I find when I use an eyeliner, 
oh, it lasts all day. It's so bomb. So I will blot them together to kind of get it to merge. But then after that, like it does not move, baby. So that's the bomb look combo. And then I go in with this, I believe it's by Revlon lip gloss. And I usually like to use the crayon case in Clean Kisses, but I couldn't find it. But this was the second best. It still looked good. You know, it'll do. And because that wasn't as light as the Cream Kisses lip gloss that I usually use, I just went in with this Morph Concealer and put that on my lips because I don't use it on my face. So I just use it on my lips and it helped brighten it up like that. So yeah, that's the finished look. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this makeup look. I was, you know, going through some products that I would not usually use, but also I have the ones that staples that I will always use in my makeup routine. So y'all, um, I'll be back with an updated update makeup look so we can really get down to the business.